Hey guys, what's up? It's Miles here and welcome back to another video. So I've been playing a ton of Minecraft lately and I'm sure a lot of you guys have been as well. So that's why in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can increase FPS on any version of Minecraft that you're playing on. These tips are great for high-end gaming PCs and low-end gaming PCs. So after doing all the tips I do show you guys in today's video, you should see a dramatic increase in your FPS. Anyways, before the video does start, I do upload a ton of tutorials like this, so if you enjoy it, please hit that sub button. <laughs> I did like, hey, might as well drop a thumbs up as well. But anyways, hit the sub button, hit the notification bell, and maybe comment below saying that you're part of the Noti Gang if you guys do want to shout out like this one right here. But anyways, let's get on with the video. So this video is going to be broken down into parts because I want to make it as helpful as I can, so definitely check the description below for timestamps. But anyways, the first, the first tip that I'm going to be starting off this video with is going to be that you just gotta install Optifine. And don't worry if you're like too scared about like installing mods on your computer, like trust me, I was like that at 1.2, so I'm going to try making it as like easy to follow and as simple as if, as to and as simple to follow as I can. So first things first is go to the description below and look for the Optifine link or you can just do a Google search for Optifine and then just click the first link which will take you to Optifine.net. From there hit the downloads tab right here. And now from here you can literally download Optifine for almost any version of Minecraft that you're playing and I know a lot of people still like to play on like 1.8.9 and stuff like that so it's right here as well. Um, in the video I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to do it for 1.14.4. But regardless, it's pretty similar for everything else. Alright now, so the first thing that you want to do when you're actually at this website is you can either hit the download button right here, which is like kind of bolded and it's kind of like telling you to like click that button. I don't recommend doing that because it does take you to like this different website that has like a bunch of ads and pop-ups. So instead of doing that, click the little button that says mirror right here in like the little parentheses. Click that and then from there it's going to take you to the download page. Click the download link and then it's either going to ask you where you want to download it or it's going to automatically download to your like downloads folder or something like that. So I'm going to save it to my desktop and then from there I want to minimize this. Well actually before minimizing it, one thing I do want you guys to do in case you don't see this little Java logo right here already like on your thing, make sure that you do have Java installed on your computer. So I'm going to go to Java and just go to do Java download right there. Click the first link and then all you have to do is just click this button right here. It's going to install the installer and then from there you can just go ahead and install it. <laughs> I said install like three times now. So install Java in case you guys don't already have it because you definitely need it to actually run Optifine. From there you might have to restart your computer and then come back to this video but it's pretty simple from there on out. Anyways, I'm going to close out of this and then one thing that I do see is a common glitch for a lot of people when they want to install Optifine is that instead of seeing the Java logo right here, you see these little bookshelves instead. And to fix that, all you have to do is go to open with and then hit choose another app. Hit more apps and see if you can find Java over here. If you don't find it like I have it right here, all I have to do is just scroll all the way down to the bottom, look for another app on this PC, then go here and click local disk C. From there go to program files x86, scroll down to the Java folder, hit the first one, go to bin, and then hit Java W. I know that's a lot of steps, but honestly, that's only required if you don't see the Java logo already. If you see it, then you're good to go. But if you don't see it, you have to do these steps. Anyways, from there, all I have to do is hit open, and now this shows up. This is the exact same thing that would have happened if I just double clicked this because I already have the Java logo right there. Anyways, from here, all we have to do is just hit the install button, and it's going to automatically install Optifine into our computer. So from there, I can hit OK. And now I can go ahead and start up Minecraft, the Minecraft launcher, go to installations right here, and then I should see Optifine right here. So all we have to do from there is just hit play. So now I'm going to actually cover some of the in-game settings that you guys can actually change to increase your in-game FPS. So I'm going to just start up like a random single player world that I have saved on my computer, and I'll see you guys there. Oh, hello chicken, how you doing? Oh wait, whoa, 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 oh, whoa, we got three chickens over here? Alright, well I'm with my gang right now, and anyways, the first thing that you guys should see automatically right as you start up Minecraft is if you actually hit F3, you should you should have way more FPS than you did before. So right now I actually have 300 FPS, kind of like 270, 300-ish. Um, and you guys should definitely have more than you did before you actually installed Optifine on your computer. So anyways, like I said before, the reason why I'm actually in a single player world right now is so that when I make the changes in game, you guys can actually see them change on my actual FPS counter on the top left. So the first thing that you want to do if you want the absolute best FPS possible is go to options and then go to video settings. From there, what we want to do is change the graphics to fast from fancy. It's very crucial that you do that and also lower your render distance from whatever it is to maybe something between like 8 to 12. That's a pretty good range to have it at. And then if you want to try pushing it even more, feel free to do that. But I promise you it's going to increase your FPS a ton. So just by doing those two things, you can see right here that my FPS went from 270 to 600 to 700 already. Just by changing those two things, we went that high now. And another thing that you guys want to make sure you do is actually change max frame rate to unlimited and also turn off smooth lighting because you definitely don't need it if you guys want to actually try increasing your FPS a lot. Um, also, I'm noticing that like my, my face can like see now it's going hella quick because I actually closed down Minecraft but whenever I have it open for some reason it starts glitching so I'm probably not going to show too much of my face cam when I'm actually doing the settings so I'm sorry for that. Um, I'll try to show it as much as I can like outside of the settings and I'll try figuring it out later on but anyways back to Minecraft. So now the first thing that you guys want to do after you have done those four things, I'm just going to quickly show you guys like how it is in game now. 
We literally have 600 FPS, 600 to 700 FPS. The game feels way smoother now. And I'm sure you guys are probably wondering, like, Maz, what were the changes you even made? So let me quickly show you guys, like, an example, like an in-game, like, actual example right here. Why does this tree not have a stump at the bottom? Okay, I don't know. Anyway, so if I go to options, go to video settings, and then change the graphics from fast to fancy again, as you can see, now the tree, you can kind of like see through it. Like you can kind of like see through the leaves and things like that. Like just, that's just like one example of what that does. But like, there you go. Like me changing that changes our FPS a ton. So definitely not too needed. And another thing I'll show you guys render distance right now too. So render distance is essentially how far you can actually see on your screen of the world before you actually get there. So right here, like we can't really see too much over there, right? But if I go here and actually change the render distance to like 35, for example, the whole, like so much more of the map actually loads but that does require your computer to work a lot more which does actually lower your fps like as you can see now we have 200 to 300 fps we were just in the 700s because our, our render distance was much lower so highly recommend changing that stuff up hopefully this video is helping you guys out at least somewhat um definitely comment below and drop a like if you guys are enjoying the video so far but anyways from there let me show you guys some more things that we can change all right, so from here, now make sure that you go back to your video settings, go to performance, and then the first three things that we want to make sure are turned on are smooth FPS, fast render, and then fast math. Make sure those three things are turned on in your performance settings. Also, if you guys do want to change some settings and you're just not too sure what they do, um, all you have to do is just hover over it and it will tell you exactly what it does. So when you turn off uh, fast math, um, it just does standard math, and when you turn it on, it does faster math. That's not a good example, but if I go to like smooth FPS right here, um, when you have it off, there's no stabilization, FPS might fluctuate. If you have it on, there's a pretty good stabilization in FPS. Also, I do want to let you guys know that in case you guys do plan on doing shaders anytime in the future, you will have to turn off fast render because it does require it to be off. So that's just like a note for you guys in the future, but I'm not going to be using shaders right now. If you guys do want a tutorial on that, definitely let me know and I can make one. Anyways, from here hit done, and one thing that I do want you guys to make sure you do is if you see something like use a VBOS on, leave it on. And if you see it off, then turn it on. And if you guys are on like an older version of Minecraft, I believe it's called Advanced OpenGL instead of Use VBOS. And for that, just set that to Fast if you have Advanced op uh, Advanced OpenGL. But if you have Use VBOS, then just leave that on. I'm not going to go into trying to explain it. Just trust me, it's going to help you with your FPS. So for the rest, it's pretty self-explanatory. But if you don't know what something is, like I said before, just go ahead, hover over it, and it will give you a description of what you what will actually happen if you try changing it. Um, two things I definitely do want to show you guys before we actually close out Minecraft is go to Details, and I highly recommend turning your clouds to Off because it will give you much more FPS, um, I promise you, it's going to help you guys out a lot. Anyways, other than that, we can hit done right here, and one other thing is if you go to quality, I believe, turn mid map levels all the way down to the lowest, I don't know what just happened, did I just break my game? Nope, I didn't. Wait, what the heck? Oh yeah, so just turn mid map, mid map levels all the way down to the lowest, I don't know why it keeps doing that, but anyways, from there we can hit done, 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 back to game. You guys are probably going to notice, like, Maz, why do you have 500 FPS before you had like 800? Um, I'm going to quickly explain that. So if I go to options once more, go to video settings and then go to performance. So that's what happens when you turn on smooth FPS. If I turn it off, you can see right off the bat, we just jump back to 900, right? It goes back up like crazy. But honestly, FPS at that level is not needed. Like if you just turn it on, you're going to have a much smoother experience actually playing the game. All right, sorry guys, my video just cut out there for a second when I was recording. But anyways, like like I said before, um, you can play with 800 plus FPS if you really want to, or like that'd be the situation for me. Um, it's really not needed. Like I don't need to play at 800 FPS. Me playing at 500 is perfectly fine. Um, but for you guys, like leave smooth FPS on if it helps you more, or turn it off if it gives you more FPS. It's totally up to you guys. But anyways, once we are done with the steps in game, we can actually save and quit to the title, quit the game. Hopefully my face cam is much better now, moving in 60 FPS. But anyways, let's. The first thing that we actually want to do is go down here and actually search for something so once you're actually here go ahead and type in control panel and it should be the first suggestion click enter from there go up here and type in power options once you do that you should see this little battery thing right here just click it and the first thing that we want to do automatically is change it from balanced which is automatically going to be the recommended one i really don't know why they do that on pcs it's kind of like pointless change it from balance to high performance and if you guys don't see high performance right off the bat it might be hidden in this little thing that says show additional plans click that and you should see high performance right there click it and you should be good to go so once you're done with that what you want to do is go back up here to the search bar and type in system i spelled system wrong there you go all right so type in system then click the little green text right here and then from there hit advanced system settings and then from there make sure that you need you're in the advanced tab performance box and then hit settings right here and you're going to see this pretty big list of visual effects that windows automatically has on it makes windows look cooler for sure but it definitely reduces the speed of your computer a lot and this is something that you'll notice a ton on older computers when you actually make changes in here you're gonna get a ton of like increase in performance on your computer in general like when you're just using it but also in games too 
So if you want the absolute best FPS possible, just hit adjust for best performance and it's going to uncheck everything right here, but it might make your windows look kind of weird. So what I recommend doing is just hitting a let windows use what's best for my computer and then just go ahead and individually check each thing off and see if you actually need it or don't need it. If you don't notice a change in your windows when you're using it on like a day to day basis, then you probably don't need it and it's going to make your computer run way faster. So that's just, that's just a tip for you guys. But anyways, once you're done making the changes here, hit apply, hit OK. Whoa, where my okay, my my background's back. I was about to start crying, man. I almost lost my astronaut. Look at that. That's sick. But anyways, once we're done there, we can hit OK right here, and we're gonna search for something else. Well, actually, I think we're done searching. What we can do now is go down here and type in settings, hit enter, and it's gonna open up the settings app right here. And the first thing that we want to do is go to the gaming button right here, and make sure that you have the game bar turned off. I know it is a pretty cool feature, but it definitely reduces the FPS that you get in game by a ton. And once you turn that off, definitely go to the Xbox game mode thing right here and leave this on because then Windows actually optimizes your computer to run better when you're playing games. It's kind of weird. They have one thing that actually hurts your FPS and they have one thing that actually helps your FPS. Windows, what are you doing? Anyways, from there, I'm going to go back once more go to privacy right here and then scroll down until you find background apps. Yeah, so once you find background apps, these are all the apps that are running at all times on your computer and almost all of them are just apps installed by Windows like by on its own. I promise you, you don't need to have like any of these on when you're playing games or anything like that. So just go ahead and turn this off and you're going to see a big increase in FPS as well. Anyways, once you've done that, just go ahead and hit back once more and then up here type in notifications um, and just go to notifications and action settings. From there, turn off these four checkboxes, right? Just go ahead and turn all these off because I don't know a single person who actually uses Windows notifications and you probably don't as well so go ahead and turn those four off and you should be good to go. Now from there we can close out of this and we can also close out of this and what we want to do is actually clear our temporary files folder. So to do that go here and type in RUN which is, which is basically run, hit enter from there and what we want to do is type in the percent symbol TEMP and then the percent symbol once more. From there hit OK and you're going to see this whole new folder open up that has a bunch of random folders that you've never made in your life. So now like this right here, this is actually a file or like a folder that Windows actually makes itself to store files that it only uses a few times and it never uses again. But it still leaves all like the leftover garbage in your computer and it takes up state, it takes up space and actually makes your computer slower. So like I said before, all these files right here in your computer are taking up space for absolutely no reason. So what we want to do right here, go ahead and select all of them. You can just hit control A on your keyboard and it's just going to select everything. I'm just showing you guys how many files I have. There's a pretty good chance that a lot of the people watching this video have a lot more than I do. Then from there, all you have to, all you want to do is just right click any of them and just hit delete once you do have them all selected. And don't worry, Windows is not going to let you use any that are actually being used by your computer. So right here it says this action cannot be completed because it's open in Microsoft Word. I do have Microsoft Word open right now. So one of these files right here out of these like six or whatever are actually being used by Microsoft Word, right? So what you want to do right here is just hit do this for all current items and then just hit skip. So you'll probably be left over with just a couple. I'm going to do that once more. Um, so as you guys, as you guys can see, I'm deleting. 410 items that were just taking up space on my computer. So now these ones that are left right here, my computer is actually still using, which is totally okay. We can let it do what it has to do. But what you want to do from there, close out of there and actually go find your recycling bin on your computer, right click it and then hit empty recycling bin. From there, permanently delete all the files and you should be good to go. You can see a massive increase in FPS on your computer because your hard drive is not going to be having to like search through a bunch of unnecessary files when it's actually trying to load things up for you. So now we've basically done everything that I did want to show you guys in today's video for actually increasing the FPS on Minecraft, but also boosting the performance of your computer in general. And this should have helped like high-end PCs and low-end PCs, so if it did help you out, please do hit that like button, drop a sub, hit the notification bell, it really does help me out. Um, of course there are a couple more things that I could have shown you guys how to do, like overclocking your graphics card or how to change your NVIDIA control panel settings and much more, but if you guys do want me to make like a more in detail tutorial, definitely let me know in the comments in the comment section below. But anyways guys, like I said before, that's it for today's video. Be sure to drop a subscription, drop a like if you enjoyed, if you learned something, hit that notification bell, all the good stuff, join the Naughty Gang, everything else. Hope you guys enjoyed, see you guys in the next one. Peace.